Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are all good this week. This reading is for the 29th of March to the 5th of April. It is a general reading, so please only take what messages resonate. If you do like this reading, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. And let me know in the comments if it does resonate with you. If you would like to see more readings, please hit the subscribe and notification bell. Um, I do release readings every Wednesday. Um, they're love readings. And then also you have your monthly readings, which I have linked your... April 2021 tarot reading in the description box um, and there is also information down there regarding personal readings links to my Etsy store and also um, links to my other social media platforms okay guys let's get started on your reading so Virgo what is going on with your love life for the 29th of March to April the 5th what is going on, guys? One last shuffle. Okay. So we have your recent past energy, present energy, near future energy, the energy that is guiding you this week, Something that you need to know, we have your energy and your person's energy. I feel to take this card also. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have got the Three of Swords. So there is some pain or hurt that's going on with somebody here. Or a situation that is upsetting. This may be, these two cards may be for one person or they could be for two people here. We'll see when we come to that. So recent past energy, we have the high priestess. So yeah, very connected, very intuitive, very psychic energy. Um, deep understanding here, deep connectivity that is going on. Um very connected with nature, very gorgeous, feminine, intelligent, wise energy. Present energy, we have the Four of Cups. So there is some resistance. There is some type of resistance to an offer here, an emotional situation, an emotional offer. This may be energetic at the moment because you're very, you're, because of this high priestess energy, you're very connected energetically. So you may be sensing some type of offer coming in. You may be resistant to it. Maybe staying in the energy, uh, some older energies here. But we shall see. The energy that is guiding you at the moment, we have justice. Yeah, you might be a bit resistant to love at the moment. You might be focusing on other things that you feel passionately about that bring happiness to you. There is some truth and there is some karma that is guiding this situation at the moment. Um, if this isn't you, this may be somebody else as well that might not be so interested or accepting right now. Something that you need to know, we have the Eight of Cups. You need to walk away from something here. Or there is this need for somebody to walk away um, from old emotions from old emotional attachments. They need to let go of the past. I think this is you. I think you need to let go of the past here because this is preventing you from having a new beginning, from accepting something here, a gift from the universe. Near future energy, we have the Knight of Swords. So there is some communication incoming or some clarity or truth or understanding coming in, some messages coming in or somebody coming in to communicate something. We have your energy here, which is the Knight of Pentacles. So you, I'm getting this, you're a lone ranger at the moment. You're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on things that you can kind of control. Um, not quite fulfilled here. Moving forward slowly, but kind of like, you're focusing on what you can, what you can, work with at the moment 
not open to emotions at all there is some hurt that that is preventing this as well preventing a, a emotional connection your person's energy so we have here the queen of cups and we have here the magician so this could be two people or it could be one person but you may then they may have two sides to them so there, there's this very nurturing loving energy this could be like a very motherly type of energy um but it could be but that's not necessarily to say that they're a mother they could just be very nurturing you know it embodies that very nurturing energy um there is karma tied to this person though there is karmic tie with this person um and they watch you they watch you but there's there's karma that's not fulfilled with this person then there's this magician energy and there is something i feel like a magical connection with somebody you may feel that this person's a bit of a manipulator though as well i feel like you feel a bit overwhelmed emotionally so you i feel like you don't want to get hurt it's like you're just dealing with what you can deal with you don't want to get hurt you're protecting yourself but there is some type of karma here there's some situations going on so the justice that's guiding you let's take a look at this justice energy that is guiding you we have here the sun in reverse there's something that is not clear is not joyful at the moment there's nine of swords there's some anxiety about something something is not clear something is an illusion at the moment or it hasn't been clarified and it is very stressful we've got the nine of wands and at the moment um it's being blocked but justice looks like it's coming in to clear things up we've got the ace of wands there's going to be new action taken what does justice want to say to you about this situation um king of swords yeah the truth the truth is gonna somebody is gonna take action of being honest with you they're gonna be honest with you or you're gonna understand the truth of something inside yourself if this isn't somebody else being honest so we've got the four of cups here in the present this is the four of wands this is to do with a home situation a family situation or it could be a twin flame or partner here um so it could be it could be somebody within the household or it could be like twin flame energy or you know or a partner Sorry, guys, these cards are going everywhere. Okay, so this is to do with the lover. This is not even... Sorry, it's not even to do with the lover. This is to do with love. You're not accepting love. You're not open to love right now. You're holding back from love. You're going within and protecting yourself. You're just connecting deep within yourself. You're isolating yourself from love. But maybe you feel like you can't... You're not ready for that yet. Then it looks like there needs to be some sort of honesty, some clarity, some some understanding here there's been a lot of pain something you need to know we've got the eight of cups the eight of cups we have the star so the universe looks like they're going to step in and help you release these emotions we've got the four of swords there's going to be some healing there's going to be some healing that is done and there is going to be a new beginning, some new action. Um, but it may be new action to do with something that you've been holding on to. So you may end up tackling this situation a different way. You're going to get to work on this. You, you've been put to work on this. We've got the Knight of Swords in the near future. We have the five of swords. Again, there's like a lot of this protective. Um, a little bit egoic, but kind of more protective. Like you're not, you're, I'm not going to give you an inch type of energy. I'm not giving you an inch. I'm making sure you're not going to hurt me type of energy here. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to hurt you before you hurt me type of energy. 
we've got temperance so there's going to be some type of healing going on we've got the chariot in reverse so you're not going to move on from this until it gets healed somebody else does not know what to do they don't know how to they don't know how to to kind of communicate with you here they want to offer a cup of love they want to offer something to you but they don't know how to get through to you or to communicate with you they're seeking advice at the present about this they don't they don't know how to they don't know how to give to you they don't know how to they've got anxiety they don't know how to give to you they don't know how to do it so let's take a look at these people let's see this queen of cups here queen of cups is the moon she's in her emotions whether it's a, a woman or a man they're in their emotions they're getting some enlightenment as well about their emotions they're connecting emotionally and gaining some understanding and wisdom about their emotions and learning about emotional connections we've got seven of wands here they are probably gonna come in but might get um that I feel like they might be afraid or fearful of defensive type of energy. Ten of Pentacles there, though. Queen of Swords. Uh, okay, so they want to come in and communicate and be clear with you. They want a new beginning. They want to come in and say hi. They want to take loving action here with you. This person wants to take loving action with you. They want to express their love for you. Um, what are they going to do? We've got Ten of Cups. So they're on a journey at the minute, sorting out their own emotions. They're on a journey, completing a lesson or something, a cycle, an emotional cycle that they have so that they are prepared, that they have all the tools that they need to come in to connect with you. They're doing a bit of their own sort of emotional healing and growth and development so that they're ready and prepared and have everything that they need to come and connect with you and for this to be successful then we've got the magician here we have this magician is the nine of swords there's anxiety with this magician and there's the eight of swords they feel stuck they are wanting to take action they are asking the universe for help they've got they're asking the universe they're manifesting at the moment they're trying to manifest connection and success with you uh, they have major mental anxiety. They're manifesting you. They're manifesting a connection with you. They are literally just trying to work with the universe, asking f to connect with you, to bring to for, to for the universe to bring them in to you, or you into them. Here, they're trying to attract you to them and. They have a lot of emotions as well here for you. They feel very passionate to you. They're really passionate about you. So there's someone who's very emotional, who's very emotional about you. Then there's somebody who I feel could be like, I don't know, I feel like they could be a family member or they could be like a friend or somebody. It's a very emotional connection. But then there's somebody that's very passionate, that feels... They've got an energetic connection to you. Okay, there's like this, and they're trying to manifest you. They're very in tune. You are just like shut off, not interested, focusing on your physical world and your what you can control right now and what feels safe to you. This person here, there could have been a third party situation with them. What went wrong between you was action upon love. There was, yeah, there was a three of swords between you guys. There was some type of action that was taken, which to do with love and emotions, which ended up hurting and causing pain. What went on between you and this queen of cups? What went on with you and this tween, 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 queen of cups? There is some type of feeling of betrayal and there's like this competitive energy so there's two people here that are 
that that are here for you to heal with. For you to heal with, I feel like you just don't want to deal with either of them. You're just shutting off. You're just focusing on what you can focus on. You've got the Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah, you're balancing out your physical world, something that you can handle. You're going through, um, you're doing some shadow work. You're balancing certain things out within your own world and reality at the moment. Don't really feel that you're open to these two because you're dealing with your own stuff. You're prioritizing yourself right now. This person, the magician, is kind of really kind of trying to manifest you in energetically. So no actual verbal communication. Um they're trying to get the universe to work with them to, to draw you in. But I still feel like there could be some type of third party situation still going on with that magician. And then the Queen of Cups, that person is going to come towards you once they've mastered and completed their own emotional journey, um, which they're at near completion with. And then they're going to have the tools and the understanding and the emotional capacity to sort out a situation with you as well. Let me just say one thing about this magician. This magician wants to come and communicate truth and honesty with you. They appreciate you. They want to change. They, they don't want things to continue how they've been. They want a new beginning with you. They don't want things to carry on how they've been going. It's not made them happy at all. So, yeah, this is what I've got for you guys for the week. Let me know if that resonates with you guys and all the best. <laughs>